Hi, my name is Deron Chaudhry, and I'm from the island of St. Lucia, and I go to UB School of Architecture and Planning. Rehousing explore what a New York City Housing Authority apartment looks like and what it means to live in affordable housing. The project began with a careful look at how current apartments are represented. Rehousing contains physical attributes of how people live in Bed-Stuy, a neighborhood in New York City. Places of collectivity and domesticity, such as rooftops and stoops, were observed and used as motifs for design iteration. A protected exterior space provided residents with an area for interaction with walkways, stoops, as well as direct visual contact to the performance space below. The building pulls back, creating a generous space activated by a cafe and entry to the youth center. We analyzed the surrounding context to develop particular programs that would be important for youth development. The design allocates programmatic space for those who are influenced by gang violence. The space can be used by local organizations to provide them with a positive outlet. The change from a building about bodies and space to one that engages with the environment allows for a direct connection between the residents, the youth, and the community. This creates a new take on affordable housing. My first look into the field was both personal and professional. My older brother studied architecture and I participated in the ACE Mentor Program, which gave me the opportunity to work collaboratively and develop a response to a design proposal. In college, I admired the relationship we, as designers, developed through our various conversations with clients in order to present them a project that they desired. Oftentimes, I ask myself, why architecture? To me, by its nature, architecture is and should be inclusive. From the architects, consultants, engineers, and other specialists, plus disciplines outside of the building industry that come together to push the project forward. Working on an architectural project involves and promotes heavy dialogue and communication from the building industry teams, the client, and the occupants. Through my education, I would describe myself as someone intrigued by unconventional forms of approaching architecture, which provides a different way of representing information. Representation matters in everything we do as designers. We must understand the occupant that the architecture is serving as well as how we choose to communicate our ideas to our clients through different mediums. My interest in Gensler comes from knowing that the guiding principles emphasize that the power that design has when it comes to changing the world and addressing the collective mentality of a we versus I mindset. Knowing this, Design should be just and its impact is not only on the user, but from user to building and building to environment. This brings in topics such as sustainability. If introduced early into the design process, the outcome could have a tremendous positive impact on the way it responds to environmental factors, as well as its occupants. There's a lot that each of us as individuals bring toward a team project from personal backgrounds to perspectives and to the way in which we work together to accomplish the common project goal. My own guiding principle would be striving to find new ways of representation. If a drawing could not get the idea across, how well would it do as a moving graphic, a website, a video, or even a collage? This passion for learning is what drives me to take classes addressing the relationship between technology and architecture, and what that can bridge in terms of how we represent information. The way the profession chooses to represent engagement within architecture is not as diverse as we might think. Each project aligns itself with a holistic demographic, however, graphic representations tend to be of one group of people. If we are not representing architecture in a diverse manner, that can potentially skew the view occupants have about the design and thinking whether this type of architecture is accessible to them. Imagery, graphics, and representation play a tremendous role in the output of what we do as designers and architects. What I bring to against our internship experience is a hands-on and curious person that is willing to challenge the current state of our profession in hopes of creating critical dialogue about inclusivity in architectural representation.